Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In the next uh, few lessons, we're going to start talking about the maths involved in building houses. Now, unfortunately, I am not a builder, so you probably can't use these videos to teach you how to build a house. All I'm doing is looking at some of the maths involved with building houses that we put in as part of the uh, curriculum in high school maths and uh, it's used to prepare students to pass the exam so uh, feel free to use it for that purpose okay so when we build a house I guess the first thing we do is we peg out the perimeter of the house so after you peg out the perimeter of the house, so you've decided, yep, this is where I'm going to build my house and you've marked it on your block of land. I'm going to build my house here. What you need to do is you need to check that the corners of your house are right angles. So there are a few ways you can do that, but I guess the simplest way is you would measure the sides of the house so let's say for example this side is 30 meters and this side is 15 meters okay you would then measure from corner to corner how long this side is to check whether it matches the pythagoras theorem so for example this side is a this side is b so for this to be a right angle triangle for this uh, section here so basically for this to be a right angle here this will have to fit the Pythagoras theorem so what is the Pythagoras theorem we got c squared equals a squared plus b squared Okay, so then you would go A is 30, B is 15, put them into the formula, and we want to find out what C is. So C equals the square root of all of that. Square root of 30 squared plus 15 squared. And put that into the calculator. So it's the square root of bracket... 30 squared or squared so I'm not that good at typing it in this calculator 30 squared uh, plus 15 squared and uh, all of this inside the square root which i've typed in earlier and the answer is 33.54 meters so if this side is 33.54 meters then chances are this angle would be a right angle and then uh However, if you do it like this, okay, then if it's not square, okay, if the side here is not 33.54, it's too late. So what you want to do really is you want to check for squareness as you're pegging out the perimeter of the house. So what you would do is you would draw, so on wherever you're going to build a house, you would uh, lay down the line for the first side of your house and then you would use the a device called the builder square so the builder square is basically a right angle triangle okay a right angle triangle that is definitely already got a right angle Okay, so for example, typically a builder square uh, uses the ratio 3, 4, and 5. So there could be 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters, and so on. So you would put this device over here. So you would put this device over here to make sure that there's a right angle. And then you're going to lay out the second line using using the uh, 
edges of the builder square to form the second line so then you know for sure that all four lines are going to follow right angles so let's do a problem to do with the builder square so the question is two pieces of timber 60 centimeters and 80 centimeters are used to form a builder's square find the length of the third piece so this device that I was just talking about, we now have uh, 60 centimeters on one side, 80 centimeters on the other side, and you want to find out the third piece. So let's call this X. So then in order to find that, you would go A, plus A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Put um, 60 into where A is, put 80 where B is, and put X where C is. So to find X, you would square root 60 squared plus 80 squared. Put all that in the square root, because that's the opposite of squared. And put that in the calculator, and you should get 100. Uh, centimeters okay so that's pretty much it for the first lesson uh, to check that all the corners are right angles uh, for your house okay thanks for watching guys see you next time